हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन आर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द ऑप्टिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कोलॉइड्स लाइक टिंडल इफेक्ट एंड स्कैटरिंग ऑफ लाइट यू कैन चेक इट इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द काइनेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कोलॉइड्स बट एट फर्स्ट वाई शुड नो द मीनिंग ऑफ काइनेटिक्स सो वॉट इज काइनेटिक्स काइनेटिक्स मीन्स मोशन सो द मोशन रिलेटेड प्रॉपर्टीज विल बी डिस्कस्ड हेयर basically it includes various properties that relate to the motion of particles with respect to dispersion medium the motion is induced by various factors it can be either thermally induced like brownian movement diffusion osmosis it can be gravitationally induced like sedimentation or it can be applied externally such as viscosity so first one is brownian motion what is brownian motion it is the random zigzag movement of colloidal particles which may be observed with particles as large as about 5 micrometer it was explained as resulting from the bombardment of the particles by the molecules of the dispersion medium as you can see in this clip the motion of the molecules cannot be observed of course because the molecules or particles are too small to see the motion is affected by two factors particle size and viscosity particle size which is directly proportional to the velocity that is the velocity of the particles increases with decreasing particle size and viscosity which is inversely proportional to the velocity thus increasing the viscosity of the medium which may be accomplished by addition of glycerin or a similar agent decreases and finally stops the brownian motion but it remains unaffected by the nature of colloid which is involved now let's discuss what's the cause behind the motion is what actually happened is when a particle is present in a dispersion medium it experiences force from all directions when all these forces are equal they cancel each other and no movement will take place but on the other side when the particles experience force from all directions force from any one direction will dominate and all other forces got neglected and the particles move in the opposite direction of the dominant force that is dominant force push the particle in opposite direction as you can see in this clip when a particle of dispersed phase got hit by the particles of dispersion medium from various directions the dominant force pushes it in the opposite direction next is diffusion particles diffuse spontaneously from a region of higher concentration to one of lower concentration which is a direct result of brownian motion this process continues until the concentration of the system is uniform throughout the factors which affect the diffusion rate are best described by fick's first law fick's first law is written as according to which the amount dq of substance diffusing in time dt across a plane of area s is directly proportional to the change of concentration that is dc with distance traveled that is dx d is the diffusion coefficient the amount of material diffusing per unit time across a unit area when dc over dx called the concentration gradient is unity that is 1 it got affected by various factors among which three are here first particle size second temperature and third viscosity of the medium particle size and temperature 
are directly proportional to the velocity of the molecules while viscosity of the medium is inversely proportional to the velocity of the molecules and next kinetic property of colloid is sedimentation it is the process of settling of particles with time under the influence of gravity as all the particles present in dispersion are either smaller in size or larger in size with respect to each other as smaller particles are lighter in weight they experience low force of gravity and high brownian motion due to which they require more time to sediment while those particles which are larger in respect to others are heavier in weight and experience high impact of gravity on the other side due to heavy weight they also have less brownian motion due to which particles settle down in lesser time now comes the last kinetic property of colloids that is viscosity viscosity is the resistance to flow of particles under stress conditions when force is applied on a particle it can either move fast or slow depending on the resistance experienced by it so from this it can be concluded that when viscosity decreases the resistance become low and less force is required to move the particle similarly when viscosity increases resistance also increases and it requires increased force to move so this is all about the kinetic properties of colloids thank you 